Hello and welcome to Integrated Medical Biochemistry with Dr. Bijoya. Today's topic is ultra centrifugation and its applications. So what is an ultra centrifuge? Ultra centrifuge is actually an equipment that carries out ultra centrifugation. And ultra centrifugation is a specialized technique that is used to spin samples at an exceptionally high speed. So the current ultra centrifuges can spin to as much as 1,50,000 rotations per minute, which is equivalent to 10 lakh G. Now the ultra centrifuges, they operate at a speed of 75,000 RPM or more providing the centrifugal force of 5 lakh G. The rotor chamber is sealed and evacuated by pump to attain vacuum. There is a refrigeration uh, system. Temperature ranges from 0 to minus 4, uh, 4, 0 to 4 degrees Celsius. The rotor uh, chamber is always enclosed in a heavy armor plate. The centrifugation for isolation and purification of Components is known as preparatory centrifuge, while that which is carried out with desire for characterization is known as analytical centrifuge. So, ultra centrifugation is of two types that is, the preparatory centrifuge and the analytical centrifuge. Preparatory centrifuge helps us to purify the components, whereas, analytical centrifuge helps us to carry out characterization. So in centrifugation, uh, there is a sedimentation process where the rotor spins in the centrifuge. Now each particle in the sample effectively experiences a force which is known as the centrifugal force. Sedimenting at a rate proportional to the force is achieved because of this force. The factors affecting the sedimentation rate are the size of the mass, the size and the mass of the particle, the buoyancy it is exposed to in the medium and the frictional force reflected by the viscosity of the sample in the solution. So this all leads to... Now uh, in this slide we will see what is exactly sedimentation. So you can see that this is a tube filled with a suspension uh, and this tube is placed inside the centrifuge machine rotor. This is the rotor, this is the axis of rotation. When this machine rotates, the particles inside will face the uh, gravitational field. And due to this field in this process, there will be a separation occurring. And this separation will lead to formation of different layers. Uh, the upper layer, will, which is liquid, it will be called the supernatant and the solid particles will sediment downwards which is known as the precipitate. This will lead to complete separation. Now if there are uh, various components then in that case different layers will be formed in the tube. So this is how. So there are different types of centrifuges. Let us look at the different types of centrifuges and based on what have they been different. Now there are diff uh, classification is based on different types uh, or different uh, factors. So the first classification is based on the type of uh, speed or uh, sorry on the type on the speed. So there are different types of centrifuges classification based on speed. Centrifuges can be classed based on speed and temperature. Uh, when it is classified on the basis of speed, the speed of centrifuge is measured in revolutions per minute or it is also known as RPM. The centrifuges are generally divided into three categories based on their maximum attainable speed. So it can be either a low speed centrifuge where the maximum speed is around 5000 RPM, a high speed centrifuge where it is the maximum speed is 20,000 RPM and the ultra centrifuge where the speed is around 1 lakh RPM or 10 raised to the power 5. 
Now the second classification is the type of centrifuge based on temperature. So a centrifuge can either be refrigerated or non-refrigerated. So the refrigerated centrifuges have an inbuilt unit surrounding the rotor with a temperature sensor and thermostat and we can select a particular temperature or temperature range that is required during the centrifugation. Generally high, very high speed or ultra centrifuges are refrigerated centrifuges. The non-refrigerated centrifuges are normally used at whatever temperature the room has. So um, this is typically described in research reports as room temperature or ambient temperature. So now the third type of classification is the types of centrifuge based on rotors. So the rotors can be swinging bucket rotor, fixed angle rotor or vertical tube rotors. So these are the different types of rotors. Now the first one is the fixed angle rotor where there is an angle of 14 to 40 degrees um, uh, of the bucket from the axis of rotation. So that is why it is known as fixed angle because the angle is fixed. Second one is the swing out rotor where the bucket swings out. These are the buckets. It will swing out while the axis is rotating. Uh, and on the other hand, this is the vertical rotator, uh, rotor where the uh, ax, uh, the angle of rota uh, the angle of the bucket is exactly parallel to the axis of. So uh, now let us see the difference between ultra centrif uh, analytical and preparative centrifuge. The analytical centrifuge uses a very small sample size of less than one ml. Uh, in preparative centrifuge, on the other hand, large sample volume can be used. It is built on analytical centrifuge is built on optical system to analyze the progress of molecules during centrifugation. Whereas this is not the case in uh, preparative centrifuge. Use is relatively uh, pure sample. Less pure sample can be used used to precisely determine the sedimentation coefficient and molecular weight of the molecules can be used to estimate sedimentation coefficient and molecular weight and it is also used to separate organelles and molecules uh, example of analytical centrifuge is the beckman model e and um, the preferatory centrifuges are uh, commonly used so uh, now the preparative ultra centrifuge is further classified into differential ultra centrifugation and density gradient ultra centrifugation. The differential ultra centrifugation is generally a commonly used procedure in microbiology and cytology, uh, whereas density gr uh, gradient ultra centrifugation is uh, further classified into zonal or isopicnic ultra centrifugation. Now the rate zonal and isopicnic ultra centrifugation vary. So let us see in rate zonal centrifugation there is gradient. The gradient is shallow. Maximum gradient density less than uh, least sedimenting species. Gradient is continuous. Here on the other hand in isopicnic the gradient is steep. Maximum gradient density is greater than one of the dense sentimenting species. Uh, the gradient is continuous or discontinuous depending upon what we need. Uh, the centrifugation, uh, there is incomplete sedimentation, speed is low and short time. Uh, complete sed sedimentation till equilibrium is achieved and the uh, centrifugation speed is high and it takes a long time. Rate zonal centrifugation helps us to separate D RNA, DNA, hybrid, ribosomal subunits, etc. Whereas the uh, isopicnic ultra centrifugation helps us to find out DNA, plasma, lipo lipoproteins, lysosomes, mitochondria, peroxisomes, and various other cell organelles. So, this is uh, the difference. An, an application of rate zonal and isopicnic ultra centrifuge. 
Now this is a process of centrifugation that has been explained through the flow chart where taking a tissue then homogenizing it or grinding it and then taking that homogenate mixture uh, and putting it inside the ultra centrifuge and uh, then subjecting it to different centrifugal forces for different periods of time and isolating different fractions of the cell in order to carry out various studies related to these cell organelles and their uh, metabolism. Now the applications of ultracentrifugation in clinical laboratory is to remove cellular elements from blood. This is a normal centrifuge. You don't need ultracentrifuge to prov provide plasma or serum. Uh, then to chemically precipitate protein from analytical specimens. This also can be achieved by a normal speed centrifuge. We can separate protein bound free ligand in immunochemical assays, uh, separation of subcellular organelles, uh, exact solutes of biological fluid, aqueous to organic solvents and separate lipid components. For this we need uh, high speed centrifuges and ultra centrifuges. So these are the uh, different types of centrifuges and the, this has been summarized in one page and their uh, differences. So the lows, uh, we'll begin from characteristics. So high, low speed, high speed ultra centrifuge. Now here the RPM range is between 1 to 6000. In high speed it is 1000 uh, to 25000. In ultra centrifuge it is uh, 20,000 to 80,000. Now in maximum RCF achieved is in low speed is 6,000 in high speed is 50,000 whereas in ultra centrifuge it is 6 lakhs. So you can imagine the amount of heat it will generate. So it is uh, always advisable that the high speed and the ultra centrifuges are refrigerated. Refrigeration now is the next point in low speed there is no refrigeration uh, required or it may be required in some cases uh, but in high and ultra uh, centrifuge they are always refrigerated now let us see the applications uh, pelleting of cells is possible by all the three pelleting of nuclei is possible by all the three pelleting of organelles is possible only at high and ultra centrifuge Pelleting of ribosomes is possible only by ultra centrifuge, whereas pelleting of macromolecules is also possible only by ultra centrifuge. So, subscribe to my channel, like and share, click the bell icon.